Oh, boy, that is... You, you can see why this is going to be a tough challenge because I've got some big shoes to fill here. I am incredibly honored to be asked to step in and steer the ship as the mayor uh, identifies a new chief. I just have a, a couple things that I want to say. Um, first, to the men and women of the Seattle Police Department, you're going through some turbulence right now. I, I recognize that, and I want to do whatever I can to reassure you we're going to get through this. The first thing I'm going to do, first day in office, tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock, I'm going to start by listening. I want to hear from the men and women of the Seattle Police Department what you're seeing, what your ideas are, what you need. I need to understand what you're all facing on the street. I also need you to be brutally honest and open with me so that I can understand. Armed with that information, I am going to do my very best in the short time that I'm here to get you the tools and support that you need to deliver good policing to the people we serve. The Seattle Police Department has incredible talent that sometimes doesn't get recognized. And, and my goal is to make sure that the community gets to see the great work that's being done and build on that some more. To the people of Seattle, I know there are communities that are, are really grieving with this change, and, and I understand that. I'm also going to start, Reverend Walden, by listening, by listening to people. I want to understand what we can do together to improve people's sense of safety and to gain your trust. I know that's going to be a tough road, but we're, we're going to do it. It's going to take me a lot of time to do this because I know the residents and the businesses in Seattle are not one big monolithic block. Everybody's unique, every community's unique, and I'm going to take the time necessary to listen and learn what your needs are, what your ideas are, and what we can do together to continue improving safety. Um, finally, several people have asked me, why did I take this job? Um, I was perfectly happy with my grandkids, um, doing a lot of work um, in the consulting world on trying to improve the, pres the profession of policing. But I have to say, I feel a little uncomfortable standing in the sidelines preaching about what leaders should do. And I decided it's time to put up or shut up. <laughs> so I'm going to jump into the arena again, not for a long time, but long enough to try and help my brothers and sisters that I've watched from across the street for so many years. Um, there's still a few people that are as old as me, uh, still in the Seattle Police Department, and I'm going to need I'm going to need a lot of help, and I'm going to have to gain wisdom. Eric, I work with your dad. <laughs> I know your dad better than you, um, but I really am. It's I'm really excited to to meet the men and women inside the Seattle Police Department that I don't yet know because I know. They have a lot of good ideas, and I know they've got good hearts, and I want to help them get those hearts out on display. So, Mayor, thank you again for your confidence. Um, I won't let you down. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Sir.